So the two blue collection has arrived. This is the lovely package that the unit arrives in. One for wigs! One for wigs! Wigs! One for One for wigs! One for full wigs! Wigs! One for... So this is two blues signature pre-plucked hairline. It does look different from what I expect um, the unit's original manufacturer to have. I think this is an Utre. I'm not sure. I will check. I don't normally try these units on before I cut the lace. So this is very interesting for me to see how this looks. But I wanted to see how the plucking job worked on my head. Like you see for me, this is a little bit far back. And when I cut it, I will pull it further forward. Um, I'm not really one for the pre-plucked hairline. But let's see what happens when I bring this down around. I have to flatten it, I guess, with the hot comb. But this is Laurel revamped. And I think from what I looked at inside, I think Blue added some extra hair to this unit as well as cut layers into it. And she also sewed down the non-adjustable elastic band that this unit comes with. So this is what it looks like without having done anything. And I'm going to cut the lace soon before I put it back on my head. I hope this works. And I'm going to flatten out the parting space. And I think this is nice. I'm going to really be happy comparing and contrasting her to the love wig. Hi, welcome back to another episode of Wonderful Wigs. So today Wanda is showing a very special unit. This unit is by someone I consider an artist. Uh, her name is, her working name is Two Blue. B-L-U-E and she has the two blue collection so she's well known for her signature hairline she's working mostly in synthetics and she cleans up the hairline so it looks more realistic and then she mostly uses glue to hold her units down so this i received just a few days ago and it's uh, an outre laurel that she's remixed i think she's added some extra layers to the unit and she's made it longer so this is 30 inches I'm not sure if you can see how long she is. I put this camera uh, a little higher for me, but so here she is, 30 inches long. I'm gonna wear her in the second part of this video. So watch till the end to see how I install her. I'm a little bit nervous, to be honest, to cut the lace because she usually installs it with the glue and then cuts the lace after. And I'm a cut the lace first person. <laughs> So let's see how it's gonna look. And there are not a lot of hairs in the front. It looks realistic, but there are not a lot of hairs to make baby hairs out of. I show you some close-ups later on in uh, the smaller clips of the video. But um, she feels really soft and it's very thick and beautiful looking. So I'm comparing and contrasting her on this Valentine's with this love wig, which I've shown before. This love wig, which I just took out of the box and put on my head. I didn't even comb through it. This love wig is by uh, Motown Tress. And I've done a review on her before. She didn't get a lot of views, unfortunately, which it is unfortunate because this is a gorgeous unit as well. And it is, uh, I'll show you the back in a second. Just going to comb her out a little. But I took her out of the box and straight on my head, glueless. Um, you know long big parting space this also has a long deep parting space so it's very realistic looking and uh, let me show you the back here so I love these curls I love the curls of the Motown Tress love wig it's great for Valentine's to be like very sweet, girly, and vampish in the sort of natural color looking here. For me, black is not that natural, but I, I think, you know, for the average black person, uh, this deep black is um, quite natural looking. And this one is also very wavy. It's not so much curly as wavy. This is more curly, but these waves are gorgeous. And if you know the Laurel uh, unit, which I'm going to do a subsequent episode, I think, comparing uh, the Outre Laurel to Two Blue Collection Laurel Remixed. Um, obviously, the price is a little more because she's customized this unit. 
and I've asked Two Blue to interview her for the channel, but uh, she's very busy, you know. The only downside to this, um, I show you again a small part of the video, how she sends the package. It's very lovely, very cute, and the little card that's in there. And I'm happy to support her as an artist, and I'm happy to support her small business. You know, I ordered this like at the height of the Christmas season, so that means she had a lot of orders coming in and I only just received it like I don't know what are we in February it's like the first week of February so it took about six weeks to get this unit and I understand the delay because of the number of orders and she's doing this I believe all herself so if you're really working on these units by hand and delivering order after order after order plus you have your business plus you have your child plus you know life in general so I'm not holding it against her that it took so long to ship it's very beautiful I'm very happy to have it and I think I mostly have only good things to say about it let's see what happens when I cut the lace and actually put it on my head but I give this a love wig I give this a 10 out of 10 this Motown dress love wig I mean uh, another hair influencer on YouTube showed it to me I'll show you the back again it's about 28 inches long and I have this middle part which I like and I haven't used any of the baby hairs on the side. It has a faux scalp which Laurel is supposed to have a faux scalp too. I think um, I think Too Blue took it out because I don't see it anymore. So I think she takes out the faux scalp and she adds extra um, bundles of hair to the unit. She makes it longer and she plucks the hairline. So you can look on her um, Instagram to Blue Collection or something like that. And you can look on her website if you want to find this unit. It's like a couple hundred dollars with the shipping. Of course, this is going to be less expensive just coming from any store um, online. Although in the store, this Motown dress is probably the same price as hers or maybe a little less. But I'll be right back wearing this. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching till the end. Thanks for being wonderful wigs women. And even though this love unit is very thick, like you could see it's long and it's relatively thick. I would say like 180 to 200 density. This is really thick. This is a really thick unit. Uh, you can see here again. I would say it's like 200, 250 density on this unit which makes it quite special in terms of synthetics and this color is a bit darker this must be like 1B and this must be natural you know this is more a natural color on the Motown Tress Love Wig and this is more like really black 1B color so that's another difference between the two units so this is Laurel you can see through the lace to the wig cap but I'm not sure how I would handle the parting space because um, you know with this pre-plucked it might look a little strange but that's the hairline it's really good this is not fitting directly onto my ears but I guess I can finesse that somehow it's the same on this side it doesn't really fit flush against my ears but the hairline is amazing and it does somehow melt so that's good so welcome back to the second half and this is the two blue collection laurel me laurel remixed you know there must be something wrong with my brain because every now and again i can't say words but anyways so this is laurel remixed and i cut the lace it wasn't as heart uh palpitating as i thought it would be and it fits flush on my head this is her completely glueless. I didn't put any makeup on the lace as well and I feel it's melting on my skin. The lace is a little bit short around my ears like it doesn't go flush down to my temples but you know that can be finessed easily. What's important is it feels secure and I would totally go out with it glueless. Here's the back. 30 inches so you know it's past it's past here. Maybe I can turn the camera down a little bit so you can see. So it reaches like the top of my, right at the end of my spine. So it's 30 inches, trust me. 
So I'll show you a close-up of this unit uh, in the bathroom mirror just so you can see how it looks against my skin. But I'm very happy with it. I think she did a great job. And considering these are all customized uh, to fit her line, I think she's doing a great job. Here's the back again. I love how the curtain bangs are around my face. You know, this has a similar look, but they're not curtain bangs. And this is 13 by six, this is 13 by six as well. The cap feels very good on my head, very well fitting, smooth. And the hair is, as you can see, quite divine and soft. I don't know about the shedding, you know, I only combed it out just now for the first time, but I think um, I give this a 10 out of 10. For a Valentine's Day date, I think this would do very well. So here it is on the side. The back again. The side. And the front. 30 inches of gloriousness. Gloriousness. And Wanda really shows the love wig super well as well. I think she's done a great job as an assistant these last two videos. Thanks for being here. Please like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you know when I upload another episode of Wonderful Wigs Women. Keep being Wonderful Wigs Women. Have a great Valentine. This is the inside of the unit. Stretchable mesh cap, comb in the back, two combs on the side. And this is a customized unit from Two Blue, so the style will be done by her. One for wigs, one for wigs, wigs, wonderful, wonderful, wigs, wonderful, wigs.